And a new study, scientists have reported findings that show a blood test can be used to predict cardiovascular disease. Dr. Salim Sarani joins us live to discuss. Dr. Sarani, thank you so much for staying with us this morning. Will this help in getting the medicine to patients faster? And will it also help in personalizing patient treatment? Good morning, Barb. Glad to be here. The key factor is the cardiovascular disease is one of very, very common illness. Every 36 seconds, someone is dying in this country because of the cardiovascular disease. The second thing is one in four people who are dying, they're dying because of the cardiovascular disease alone. So it's very, very important. So in the past, what we had is like some of the markers, like, you know, we follow our cholesterol level. And what it does is it takes a long time uh, to study the drug that, you know, if you give a drug, would it change the outcome? Would it change the mortality? So there has been always a role or need for a surrogate marker, which can do actually three things. First, it can accurately predict what the likely clinical outcomes can be. And we know that some people can say that the artificial intelligence can look at the millions of charts and figure it out. But the other two things are tougher for even the AI to do it was to be able to change as the potential risk changes because we know that the environmental practice changes. And third, it works no matter what was the driver of the risk was. So these were the key factor, and that's the reason it was tough to know and find us a biomarker which can predict and make the care and the delivery treatment personalized. So what they look into is 23,000 people uh, plasma sample, and they studied 5,000 proteins and what they try to find out what combination of different proteins can predict the cardiovascular risk outcome. And that can be used as a surrogate marker. And that is what this discovery did is they come up with a combination of 27 proteins which can predict your risk of heart attack, heart failure, a stroke, and death in the next four years. So that's very important because now we can study the drug very quickly. We can give the medicine and see if it is working or not in just a matter of four years. And we can actually eliminate a lot of uh, cost of the drug. Second thing is when you're talking about the patient, we do the marker. And if once it becomes available, then we know that these are the people at a high risk of dying within four years. We can maximize an aggressive treatment for that and prevent those mortality. On the other hand, uh, when we do it for everyone else rather than personalized treatment, every medicine has a side effect. So that is the uh, biggest news which can be, uh, if it comes in and if uh, flourish and it comes out, uh, that would be a big game changer. Dr. Sarani, thank you so much for being with us this morning. As always, we appreciate your time. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani, you text your question to the number on your screen, 361-855-6397.